What's up, my Big Mac snack wraps? It's your boy, the Miggity 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 Mac, and welcome to another show. On today's show, we're having one of my favorites. I know I gotta do this at least once a month. I don't think I did it last month, or maybe I did. But we have the sausage, cucumber, rice, the Mac Attack sauce right here. We got lemons, and we got some raw onions. Y'all, y'all know this is one of my favorite meals. We about to get it in. We gonna say a prayer. Amen. Got my water right here. Let me go. Y'all make sure y'all get your water in for the day. Get you a gallon. Go ahead, get you a gallon in. We're gonna, we're gonna swirl a little bit. Well, pinkies up. Put them pinkies up in the air. We're gonna swirl a little bit, and then we're gonna. Oh, sip a little bit. Y'all, I've been missing this meal. And I'm working on perfecting the Mac Attack sauce, y'all. I just switched up the recipe. Y'all see that? Mm. I'm gonna put some of that on the rice right there. Y'all, we're gonna get some of this rice right here. Get us a sausage. Get some lemon juice. Oh, yeah, see that? Cucumber ready. Mm -hmm. Some onion. Ooh, y'all know this is my favorite. I think I should have got a little more rice, though. We're going to make it do what it do. All the flavors just married together. Mm. Alright, y'all got chicken sausage right here. This is chicken sausage. Persian cucumbers. Sticky rice. Sticky white rice. Mm -mm. So y'all, I have a little topic today. Um, 
Now, the rapper the game recently said, and I'm paraphrasing because I don't have my phone in front of me. Basically, he said for his girlfriend or his, you know, his woman, wife, whatever, um, he'll take care of all the bills and stuff as long as she take care take care of what she got to take care of at home. You know, feeding them, um, pleasing his desires. And all that he said life on him like if she could take care of everything at home life on him so ladies my question to you is will you let a man take care of you like provide for you everything as long as you take care of everything at home and on the personal end or would you prefer to you know Still, still do your own thing as well. Be out there, you know, work or whatever. What's your take on that? My take personally is it sounds good on paper. It sounds good. But you know, as a man, I do like to be a provider knowing I can provide for my family and all that. However, If we're going to do it that way, like, the woman really going to have to be, you know, ready to, to do her, her part, of, her end of the bargain. Like, and I don't want to sound misogynistic, egotistical and all that stuff, whatever, but if I'm providing... I'm gonna need the laundry done at all times. Like, I don't wanna have to look for dirty clothes. I don't wanna come home to a dirty home. I don't wanna have to come home and not smell anything cooked for dinner. Um, like, I'm gonna need the kids' homework done. I need you to trust to pay the, all the bills on time. And without me assisting you. Um, Cause if I'm gonna play my role and be the sole provider, then you gotta play your role. And that sounds good on paper, but being a stay at home mom is a lot harder the people give credit for i'm gonna tell you that so it sounds good on paper but when you actually got to do all that stuff that ain't easy Like you got to do shopping. All the practices for the kids there in sports or music. Um, if I'm off on the weekend, of course, I'll, I'll be helping on that end, but it's hard. Like, I was raised by my grandmother. My grandmother didn't let us go to nobody's house. We couldn't spend nights nowhere. So from the time we was born to the time we moved out on our own, she didn't have one vacation, not a break. The only time I think she had a break was when she went in for 
a knee surgery. And that was a few days. And when she came back, she was trying to get right back into motion. Um, so she never had a vacation. Are you ready for that? Like, excuse me. Like, it's hard. That's hard to do. Like, that's the standard. I'm a stay-at-home mom. Like, she never had a vacation. There was not one night that we spent without her being there except the time she went for surgery. And that was said seven, like two, two, three days out of two, two, 20 years or so. She picked us up from school every day. From elementary, straight into graduation. Um, and sometimes, one time, she had to take four kids to four different schools. Because we moved. By the time we got a road, schools were filled up. She had to take four kids to four different schools. Like, you ready for that? That's why I prefer the setup of us both working, us both taking all the responsibilities and going 50 50. So you could get some sort of variety, a little different of a break. Because being a stay at home mom ain't always cracked up to be. Well, it is, but it's, it's hard. And I commend all the women. Who do it? And do it well. And a lot of women my age, they want to do it because they see Housewives of Atlanta. Puts on Beverly Hills, you know. I'm going to sit around and drink wine all day. That ain't real. And if it is real, that's because they have a lot of money. And they can afford to have nannies come in and stuff. The average American, that ain't so. So it sounds nice. But it's hard. And then also with that comes, say the man do take care of you. And you do all that. A lot of those men that do this stuff like that are very controlling. So you got to watch out for that. Are you ready for that? That's a whole nother monster. A controlling man. So y'all let me know how y'all feel about it. Like a lot of stuff sounds good on paper, it sounds good for social media, but when it comes to real life, <laughs> you be like, uh like that Christy Teigen face. Uh. <clears throat> mm. And if you are, 
somebody in that situation. Leave it in the comments. How you feel about those situations? Or if you were in that situation and no longer in it, do you miss it? Do you not miss it? Why or why not? Y'all let me know. Always wind up only using one lemon. Mm. And also why I don't prefer that situation because I'm not I'm not the typical guy. Um I'm not Mr. Fix It. Don't come to me thinking I'm about to fix something. No, I work to pay somebody else to come do it because I'm not, that's not my ministry. That's not what I do. I'm not one of those guys that where I think I can fix a note. I can't, nope. Mm -mm, that's not me. So I'm not gonna, I'm not that type of person to live up to the standard. Oh, this is what a man's supposed to be. Um, so I'm not gonna hold that to the woman because I'm not perfect in it. So that cookie cutter, man supposed to do this, woman supposed to do that. Mm. I'm upfront about it, like if that's what you're expecting. I don't know what to tell you. If you go two miles that way, I think your husband is over there. Your man is over there. <laughs> Cause you at the wrong address. Now, if you're looking for somebody with a sense of humor, somebody that doesn't get mad easily, somebody who's going to root for you, point you in the right direction, listen to you and all that, then you're at the right place. But if you need me to look under the hood of your car, Could be a stock tornado. I think it's your head basket. That's why I think it is. So head basket or your stock tornado.
Ăn canh phích hứng Bà bà phải phúc kìa lên mà không đuôi And that's a different conversation, but in relationships, you gotta be honest and upfront with people. You know certain stuff that people are looking for. Okay, provide it. Let them know up front. I can like you. Are we talking? Are you saying what you want, what you buy, what you need? And that ain't compatible with who I am or what I can do? By all means, let's just be friends. Because what you need and want ain't over here. Cause I'm not really changing. I don't want you to change. So This new and improved sauce is good, but I gotta switch out an ingredient. It's a little strong. Which I'll go ahead and leave in the description or uh, comments below. Y'all take on everything we discussed today. Um, I enjoy these little discussions. Um, so it adds a different element to the show. Because sometimes I come on here and I just eat. Don't really talk too much. Sometimes I feel like talking to y'all. Sometimes I want to know what's going on and what's y'all thoughts on certain things. So, Moon, there you have it. Shout out to all my new snack wraps, all my day ones, everybody in between. Thank y'all for coming to check out your boy. Come kick it with me, become the snack wrap. Please don't forget to hit the like button. It helps uh, the channel grow. It helps push this video out into the algorithm and be recommended on other people's videos so the channel can grow. And we are growing. Um, y'all continue to show up and show up like y'all been doing. I thank y'all, I appreciate y'all, and I love y'all. I will see y'all tomorrow. Um, until we eat again, my snack wraps. Peace.